This is OMGB on the sofa from Tokyo. As the Olympics draw to a close, it's nearly time for us to say goodbye. I'm just in more house. And I'm big in Japan. I'm just in more house. And my personal best was a long time ago. I'm just in more house. Often described as clean. And a jerk. It's been another huge medal haul for Team GB. And we've been lucky enough to have a load of them on this sofa. We've had 20 golds, 20 silvers, and a couple of bronzes. I worked it out. If this sofa was its own country, it'd have finished about fifth on the medal table. Along the way, we've shared a few laughs. Uh, who's got the best nickname? What kind of nicknames are going on in the team? I think Dino's quite good. We call him Dino Lino Vino. There's a restaurant in Bath called Dino oh Vino. No, I said that! I, said that. <laughs> I thought we'd have to talk about David Adam's Nelson. ginger moustache. Some of the mums were tweeting me going, I like that. Some of the mums? That's, that settles me. That's, the, that. that. that's right. the market he's looking for. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the, that's the market he's wanting. I want to open up a wing shop. I want to go into business with you. <laughs> All right? And I reckon I've got the perfect name for our shop. Go on. Kai FC. <laughs> <laughs> Private eye. Did you do something I, like that? I read all those tweets at like three o'clock in the morning. I like the idea that you could be a private eye in a canoe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's been a murder. What are we going to do? We're going to send for Mallory Franklin. She's paddling her way down the canal right now. <laughs> it's a gold one. Show it to our camera. So it has a nice look at it. Look at it. How does it feel around the neck? Is it nice and heavy? Does it's it... heavy. My neck is a little sore, I can't lie. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good it's stuff, been, right? been rubbing me all day. Well, don't worry about it, mate. If that's the only thing that you've got to worry about in life, oh, what's the troubles you've got? Oh, the gold medals that I carry around <laughs> my neck. I know you and the fencing team, you're really, you're a really tight team, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we're really tight. Actually, because it's you, isn't it? It's just me, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> we heard all about athletes' families back home. It was just so nice to see so many families and friends get, yeah. get down there and, you know, support all together. And, yeah, they was uh, running around the garden like hooligans when I, uh, <laughs> when I did that last lift. I want to talk to you about uh, your mum. I don't know if you know this. Have you seen anything yeah. of your mum since? She's all over the telly. She's loving it, isn't she? She's got more media interviews than me. <laughs> <laughs> the Manic Street Preachers are from Blackwood. Pizzas. Preachers, not pizzas. No, because my cousin owns a business called Manic Street Pizzas. Yeah. So that's partly true. The Manic Street Pizzas. <laughs> yeah. And you like tough on her. So you didn't <laughs> nail that Willow. No. Are you putting max pressure on her. <laughs> Come on, Willow. She'll have a bring your Uncle Scott round. <laughs> yeah. And of course, we challenged our athletes one final time as we asked them to take on cup stacking against the clock. Some were very good. 6.85! 7 for seconds! 8.7! Some were terrible. Oh. <laughs> right from the start, Bradley Sindon led the field. What was the time there? 6.47 seconds! It looked like he would take the title, but then. Along came the golden boy, Max Whitlock. Max Whitlock! Oh, Cockstack! <laughs> no pressure! <laughs> Five point four nine! Yes! Yes! Five point four nine! He's taking the second of the record! So congratulations to Max the Team GB Cup Stacking Champion and Gold Medalist. Thanks for all your comments and support. Now, from all of us at Team GB and the FS, it's goodbye, farewell, and sayonara, Tokyo. We'll see you in Paris in 2024.